working on repairing the inner wing today. So I've cut that piece out of there, which translates to that piece. <clears throat> is that so I'm going to get that cut out just now and made up there is that <clears throat> piece cut out put a, a folded little edge on it there as you can see now that's go fit in there like that I'm just going to tack it in just now just so at the bottom there where it curves around, I can follow that curve perfectly. So I'm just going to put a couple of tacks in with the welder just now, just there, so I can fold it up properly. There's the, this piece replicated, if I take that away. That's it in there. Just tacked in for now. So, it follows the original piece quite well. So happy with that. There's that piece welded in just now. I'm going to go ahead and get the weld cleaned up there. Here I've made a um, template for the next part, which is this is actually the mud guard. So I've got, I've got a template marked out, which is basically that. So I'm going to put that on the steel and cut that out. There are my repairs that I've done so far. I'm quite happy with that. I've got the profile going pretty much as OEM as I can. As you see, I've cut this bit out, which I have flattened out and transferred to steel. So I'm just going to mark around that now and then cut it out. Here's poor man's fabrication part one. Tap this bit down with the hammer now for a flat. Same on this this edge here. There's my setup for the third stage folding over the wee tabs. You can see that it's ran off a little bit. So I'm clamping it down and now. I'll clamp it here, and I'll clamp it here, and then whatever's still high, I'll just hit down with a screwdriver and a hammer. And there's that little problem sorted out. It's sitting nice and flat now. And there I've drilled all the holes for the spot welds and for the clips for the holding the wing on. And there it is. And dry so to speak. Uh, this little bit is still to curve round a little bit more. This corner is nice and tight though, happy with that. And uh, curvature of this bit is working out not too bad either. So happy happy days. I'm just going to have to try and form this bit round a little bit more and that's it. But for a first dry run, very happy. Giving it a clean up with the finger sander uh, in preparation for spot welding it on. I've done the same with these ones. So I'm going to give it a, this bit a quick coat uh, um, weld through primer and then I'll go about spot welding it on. And there's that bit spot welded in. Let's see it from the other side. Nice tight corner, so 
Okay, we are. There's that bit uh, welded in and the welds cleaned up, ready for paint, which we'll get on and do now. There's the other side. I'll let you see it once it's been painted. As you can see, I have drilled many, many spot welds out. And cut along here, which lets me now get rid of this. Which I have to so there's that bit there, roughly where it come from. So I have a little bit of repairs to do on that, and then we'll go on to this one. Not let me get this piece out as well. Now, as you can see, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So that that's in here. Behind the rest and everything. Nightmare to get out. Um, my job for today is to replace this bit here. Not replace it, repair it, so take that out, which is going to involve fixing that rusty bit and that rusty bit. So that is the job for just now. There, I've got this piece flattened out so I could clamp it to the bit of metal here. Um, this profile here. I just made with doing the scaffold pole thing again. If you look down the, the, the way the light hits it, it's following the same line on both of the wee curves. Um, this will let me get drawn around here. Uh, but obviously when it comes to this bit, there, there's nothing. I'm going to have to just make something up. Or just leave like leave extra metal and then I trim it to what I need. Um, it'll also let me put a nice clean line across here and just cut that right off what so I'm left with this piece of metal so I'm going to do that now that's my basic interpretation of what I'm going to have to do so there's that bit made up So it's a case of marking it across here, cutting it. Um, like I say, I, I think this is how this area is meant to go. When I put it into the van, it looks about right, so I'm quite happy with that. I'll drill this big hole later once it's in the van and I'm able to get a good push against. Um, plus, it'll give me a chance to get better drill bits. There it is, tacked in there. I'll just go ahead and weld that in now. It's pouring a rain. <laughs> 